Welcome to Learn and Speak Tamil Like a Native, video number 133. I hope at least a few of you have watched the first part of the video and that was video number 132. And I emphasize that these conversations and you repeating them sentence by sentence can make you speak fluently. It is always good to follow these videos. The grammar videos have very little to be covered yet and hence Hereafter, you can learn a lot on your own. You have watched the first part where the heroine proposes in a very decent way to the man and she got upset halfway through for some reason and let us watch the rest of the conversation. And I tell you the translation that I do may not be perfect English phrasing but I'm making it in such a way that you understand the phrases bit by bit. And every time I utter a, space, a phrase, just try repeating it. And that is how you learn a language quickly. You should hear yourself the words coming out of your mouth in your own voice. It's okay even if it is only kind of a 60 or 70 percentage of satisfaction you have. I'm speaking very slowly for that reason. From what we watched in the earlier video, she is not ready to listen to his explanation and she says, it is understandable, you need not say anything. So that is why we stopped and we are resuming the conversation just to understand how it unfolds. She says, you do not have a respectful opinion about me. என்னை பற்றி ஒரு கௌரவமான அபிப்பிராயம் உங்களுக்கு இல்லை என்னை பற்றி ஒரு கௌரவமான அபிப்பிராயம் உங்களுக்கு இல்லை யூ டு நாட் ஹாவ் அ குட் ஒப்பீனியன் அபவுட் மீ ஆர் யூ டு நாட் ஹோல்ட் மீ இன் அ குட் எஸ்டீம் என்னை பற்றி அபவுட் மீ ஒரு கௌரவமான அபிப்பிராயம் அ ரெஸ்பெக்ட்ஃபுல் ஒப்பீனியன் Abhipraham is opinion. Ongalukki illa, you do not have. Enna patti, oru gauramana abhiprayam, ongalukki illa. You do not have a good opinion about me. So, she is really expressing her pain. Is this dog after all not someone who sings for the crowd? This dog is someone who sings before the crowd to survive. The heroine here is a very popular stage singer. So she says, In the nai urukku munnadi paadi polakkarava thane? In the nai urukku munnadi paadi polakkarava thane? Is this dog after all not someone who sings for the crowd to survive? In the nai, this dog. So dog here, it refers to a lowly person who leads a low life. Uru kumunadi, before the crowd. Paadi porekira vatane, after all is someone who sings to survive. In the nai, uru kumunadi paadi porekira vatane. So what she means is that she thinks that this is what he thinks about her. Is this dog after all not someone who sings for the crowd to survive? So as per the story, she is a very popular singer. Maybe she has money, but how could she have any character? If she has money, she has no character. Here she is using the English word character. So it's not a Tamil word, she is using the English word. Maybe she has money, but how could she have any character? If she has money, perhaps she has money. Character is where she goes. How could she have any character? If she has money, but how could she have any character? She 
such a doubt you are a man after all it could be anything appadinu or sandegam ninga aambala thane epdiyum irukalam so what she means is that she thinks that he thinks about her that she's just a person who is singing before the crowd she could have the fame money popularity but how could she be having a character that is so she mistakes him so that is her outburst she that and then she points about her his chauvinistic attitude ninga aambala thane so aambala means the male or the man world aambala thane epdiyum irukalam it could be anything so you can cast aspersions the way you want appadinu or sandegam ninga aambala thane epdiyum irukalam so such a doubt you are men after all it could be anything appadinu or sandegam such a doubt ninga aambala thane you are just a man so we don't use we use the word all all for men but when we say when but here she is particularly making a chauvinistic accusation so she is using you belong to that male category of people ninga aambala thana you are just a man epdiyo irukalam it could be anything appadinu or sandegam ninga aambala thana epdiyo irukalam now the hero realizes that something has gone wrong that she has started to misunderstand him so he quickly jumps in interrupts archana you asked for something that i never expected archana na nenikada onna ninga kettinga archana na nenikada onna ninga kettinga archana you asked for something that i never expected archana na nenikada onna something that i have never imagined ninga kettinga you asked archana na nenikada onna ninga kettinga but she is not okay she is not ready to hear or listen to his explanation so she again stops him no enough for proposing to you something that i have never done to anyone ever vendanga podo means please stop podo stop enough idu varaiku yaar kittiyum kekkada onnu something that i have never asked anyone unga kitta ketadukku for asking you no enough for asking you something that i have never asked anyone ever vendanga podum please no podum it is enough idu varaikum until now yaar kittiyum kekkada onna something that i have never asked anyone unga kitta ketadukku for having asked you let us see so it's only half of the phrase now vendanga podum idu varaikum yaar kittiyum kekkada onna unga kitta ketadukku this punishment is enough to me enak inda dandana podum dandana is punishment so what she says is she had openly expressed her feeling proposed to him and she got back insult and pain and punishment that is vendanga podum idu varaikum yaar kittiyum kekkada onnu unga kitta ketadukku enak inda dandana podum to me this punishment is enough vendanga please leave it so because he is trying to say something and she stops him no please no more explanations we are done with it that is what she means vendanga please leave it no please leave it and she continues with her emotional outburst she says i proposed putting behind my pride 
but i was insulted but i would never ask like this to any man ever until i died i proposed putting behind my pride so consequently for that she was insulted but and then she says i would never ask like this to any man ever until i die vekatha vittu keta avamana patta ana saavara varikkum end aambala kittiyum idha maadhiri pesa maten just try repeating it you know because i think one, a few four five movies like this and then once you try saying these words small phrases the language is automatically then yours you'll feel like it's my language you'll have a certain type of confidence so vekatha vittu keta means i gave up my ego pride shame and then i proposed to you vekatha vittu keta avamana patta i got insulted ana saavara varikkum until i die end aambala kittiyum idha maadhiri pesa maten i asked shamelessly i was insulted but i would never ask such a thing to any man ever until i die vekatha vittu keta i asked giving up my pride avamana patta i felt insulted ana saavara varikkum until i die end aambala kittiyum to any gent or man in the madri pesa maten i will not speak like this vekatha vittu keta avamana patta ana saavara varikkum end aambala kittiyum idha madri pesa maten to the way i say that it may not sound very nice because i'm just actually teaching you and i'm not a voice actor but you have to really watch the movie just to understand how the conversation beautifully and emotionally moves and unfolds and now the hero again interrupts because it's going beyond her. she's really having a very fierce outburst so she's he's asking archana why are you speaking like this archana yen ipdi ella ipdi ella pesuringa so he's actually stuttering yen ipdi ella ipdi ella pesuringa why are you speaking why are you speaking like this archana why are you speaking like this archana yen ipdi ella pesuringa but then again she is not ready still to listen to him and she carries on she goes on to say but you are a true gentleman because you said no that is you rejected my proposal not falling for my money or fame ana onnu ye panathukagavum pugalukagavum aasa padama enna venam sonninga paarunga unmaiyile neenga or gentleman ana onnu என் பணத்துக்காகவும் புகழுக்காகவும் ஆசைப்படாம என்ன வேணான்னு சொன்னீங்க பாருங்க உண்மையிலேயே நீங்க ஒரு ஜென்டல்மேன் பிகாஸ் யூ செட் நோ நாட் ஃபாலோயிங் ஃபார் மணி ஆர் ஃபேம் ஆனா ஒன்னு பட் தேர் இஸ் அ திங் தட் இஸ் சம்திங் ரியலி ஸ்பெஷல் அபவுட் யூ தட் இஸ் வாட் ஷி மீன்ஸ் ஆனா ஒன்னு என் பணத்துக்காகவும் புகழுக்காகவும் ஃபார் மை வெல்த் அண்ட் மணி so panathukagavo pugalukagavo for my wealth and for my money aasa padama without aiming for enna vena nu sonninga parunga see you told no to me unmaiyile ninga or gentleman truly you are a gentleman ana onnu en panathukagavo pugalukagavo aasa padama enna vena nu sonninga parunga unmaiyile ninga or gentleman and now he realizes that it has gone a little too far and he has to really convince her so he says you confuse me totally it's not why do you cry why do you cry in a already a culpiting it's not yeah ringa yeah ringa you confuse me totally it's not why do you cry in a already a culpiting that is Uradia means totally, completely. You confuse me. You befuddle me. You know, Uradia is confusing. You confuse me totally, Arjuna. So, why are you doing this? 
ஏன் அழறீங்க ஸோ இட் இஸ் அழறீங்க பட் வென் யூ சே தட் ஃபேஸ்ட்லி இட் பிகம்ஸ் ஏன் அழறீங்க அழறீங்க ஏன் அழறீங்க ஸோ பி மைண்ட்ஃபுல் ஆஃப் தட் ரா அழறீங்க ஏன் அழறீங்க என்ன ஒரேடியாக குழப்பிட்டீங்க ஆச்சுன்னா ஏன் அழறீங்க ஏன் அழறீங்க You need not cry like this. It hurts me. நீங்கள் இப்படியெல்லாம் அழ வேண்டாம் எனக்கு கஷ்டமாக இருக்கு நீங்கள் இப்படியெல்லாம் அழ வேண்டாம் எனக்கு கஷ்டமாக இருக்கு நீங்கள் இப்படியெல்லாம் அழ வேண்டாம் யூ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் டு க்ரை லைக் திஸ் எனக்கு கஷ்டமாக இருக்கு ஐ ஃபீல் பேட் நீங்கள் இப்படியெல்லாம் அழ வேண்டாம் எனக்கு கஷ்டமாக இருக்கு From now on, whatever I say about me, you are not going to believe. If you say anything about me, you are not going to believe me. If you say anything about me, you are not going to believe me. Which means, you are not going to believe. That's because you have so misunderstood me. Hereafter, whatever I say about me, you are not going to believe. If you say anything about me, என்ன பற்றி அபவுட் மீ நான் என்ன சொன்னாலும் வாட் எவர் ஐ சே நீங்கள் நம்ப போகிறதில்லை யூ நாட் கோயிங் டு பிலீவ் இனிமேல் என்னை பற்றி நான் என்ன சொன்னாலும் நீங்கள் நம்ப போகிறதில்லை பட் தேர் இஸ் சம்திங் ஐ அண்டர்ஸ்டட் ஃபார் ஷியோர் ஆர் தேர் சம்திங் தட் ஐ டெஃபினெட்லி அண்டர்ஸ்டட் ஆனால் ஒன்று மட்டும் சத்தியமாக புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டேன் But there is something I understood with for sure. But one matto, just one thing, Satyama Purujikta, I understood for sure, I definitely understood. Until now, you are the only one who have allowed me to this extent. And that is my fortune. Idu varikkaon, இந்த அளவுக்கு என்ன விரும்பின ஒரே ஆள் ஒரே உயிர் தட் இஸ் லைஃப் அது நீங்கள் தான் தட் இஸ் யூ அது என் அதிர்ஷ்டம் தட் இஸ் மை ஃபார்ச்சூன் இது வரைக்கும் அன்டில் நவ் இந்த அளவுக்கு டு திஸ் எக்ஸ்டென்ட் என்னை விரும்பின ஒரே உயிர் த ஒன்லி லைஃப் தட் லவ் மீ அது நீங்கள் தான் தட் இஸ் யூ அது ஏன் அதிர்ஷ்டம் தட் இஸ் மை ஃபார்ச்சூன் இது வரைக்கும் இந்த அளவுக்கு என்ன விரும்பின ஒரே உயிர் அது நீங்கள் தான் அது ஏன் அதிர்ஷ்டம் டெஃபினெட்லி ஐ எம் ரெடி டு ஹாவ் யூ ஆஸ் மை வைஃப் நிச்சயமாக உங்களை மனைவியாக ஏற்றுக்க நான் தயாராக இருக்கேன் You can see the unusual kind of a phrasing here in the whole conversation where she's asking, instead of saying, I love you, she's saying, are you ready to accept me as your wife? And then he says, yes, I'm prepared to take you as my wife. So this is not like, I love you, yes, I love you back. No, maybe this is how very two decent people speak. We don't know. Certainly, I am ready to have you as my wife. Nichema, certainly. Ongala manaviya yethika. To take you as my wife. Na tayara arke. I am prepared. Nichema ongala manaviya yethika. Na tayara arke. There's another thing for you to note here. That is, in the previous conversation, that is in the previous video, right in the beginning of the conversation, she asked her, she, she tells him not to use her. formal addressing however he continues to use it so this is still the conversation is going very formal it's not very lovey dovey talk it's still a very dignified love and proposal and he says but on a small condition so he's ready to accept her as his wife but on a condition ஆனால் ஒரு சின்ன நிபந்தனை ஆனால் ஒரு சின்ன நிபந்தனை நிபந்தனை இஸ் கண்டிஷன் 
or an obligation. You need not mistake anything or you need not take it otherwise. Ninga uno tappa nanaka venda. Ninga uno tappa nanaka venda. I have certain duties to fulfill. Yenaka seya vendia velanga conjurke. Yenaka, that is, to me or by me, seya vendia velanga. The works to be completed or the works to be done. Kunjurke, there are some. So there are some works to be done by me. Yenaka, conjo seya vendia velanga conjurke. To which she asks, what? Enna. So curious, what is that? Enna. And he says, which is what I am unable to tell. Adanga solla mudiyila. Adanga solla mudiyila. And then she again asks, why? To which he replies, all that is not required to be told now. Adalla ipa venda. Adalla means the, all those things. Ipa venda. Not now. It's not necessary now. You don't need it now. That is the meaning. Adala ipavenda. It will take some time to complete those work. And the veilang ella mudir adhke inno kunja naal ago. It will take some time to complete those work. And the veilang ella mudir adhke. For those work to be completed, inno kunja naal agum. It will take a few more days, which means it will take some more time. Certainly everything will go as per your wish. Nichyama nīga nenecha madhire illa narakum. Nichyama nīga nenecha madhire illa narakum. Nichyama. Certainly or for sure. Ninga nenacha madre as you thought or as you hoped, expected. Yella nadakum, everything would happen. So everything would happen as per your wish. Nichema, ninga nenacha madre, yella nadakum. And then he asks now, now he is coming to a little lighter mood. But okay, you talked all rattled in the beginning. Ama, armatla pada pada nu pesiting le. Ama means, alright, why did you talk like that in the beginning? So, pada pada nu means really tensed and rattling speech. So, it's not a word, it is just like da da da, like pada pada nu. You talk really quiet, da 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 da, you talk. So we say, pada pada na. Ama means yes. Oh yeah. Why did you speak like that in the beginning? Yeah, arbat labdi, pada pada na pesiting. That means all tense, do you blurt it out? Ama is just to bring his, her attention to him. You talked wrongly of me. This and that and such and such. You have mistaken me totally. Yenna pati tappa adhi idhani yenna namo nani chitting le. Yenna pati tappa adhi idhani yenna namo nani chitting le. Yenna pati about me. Tappa mistakenly. Adhi idhani this and that or such and such. Yenna namo nani chitting le. Yenna namo means just everything. You have mistaken Nena Chittinga means you have thought of. You have thought of so such and such wrongly about me. That is what he means. And he's asking, why did you speak like that? To which she says, now she's completely cooled down. She has cooled down totally. She's chill and she says, Okay, That is how I would speak. To she says, 
he asked, Why? Why? So this is how the conversation ends. You can watch. For some of you, probably you might have understood it already. That's good. Congratulations. But for those of you who are still in a kind of a little less than an intermediate, you can just go through this conversation. All the best. You can watch it again.